Do you practice massage? Do you ever have clients with back problems? Of course, we all do. Did you know that Thai massage has an amazing repertoire of very effective techniques for back therapy? Stick around and I will show you some. Hi, I'm Sharma Kern with Thai Healing Massage Academy. I will show you some ways to work on the back with Thai massage. Back problems are very common nowadays. People don't move enough, they don't exercise, they spend too many hours sitting every day and the back suffers. Thai massage has an amazing array of techniques for the back and you can categorize them in two main ways. The first category is working on the muscles directly and you should always start out that way and you can do that in many ways like this would be a, a rotation or this would be a rocking movement or this would be a direct linear pressure or you can even use your knee to work on the muscles of the back. So there are dozens and dozens of ways of doing that. The second way to work on the back is with stretching. Now stretching is very helpful when it comes to releasing tension, increasing range of motion and flexibility in the back. And again, there are many, many ways you can do that, but let me show you a couple stretches. One is a spinal twist for the upper back and it works like this. My right leg crosses over the glutes and my left knee is a little bit away from the ribs because I don't want to poke her into the ribs. Now I take her arm, bring it around and place it on my thigh. It's important that the head of your partner is facing away from you to avoid neck strain. Then you reach under the shoulder, interlace your fingers, reach as low as you can and you start with a little rocking. You rock up. If you go straight into the stretch, it can be a little bit too intense. Once you feel that the back is relaxing, there's no resistance, you can increase the rocking and then you can go into the full blown stretch just by leaning back. You want to keep your arms fairly straight and pull back with your body weight. So don't muscle it, just lean back. You do that several times and you do it slowly. Now I will show you a stretch for the lower back. And this one works like this. You lift the leg, one hand behind the heel, the other hand wraps around the foot. Now you face your partner at a 45 degree angle and place your left knee on the glutes, not on the sacrum, on the glutes, on the gluteus maximus specifically. Now you lift the leg, lean back, straight arms. It's again a pure body weight move. And if you want to intensify this, then you put your knee in the lower back, make sure it doesn't end up on the spine and all on the ribs. So you have to stay in the lower back on the near side. Technique is the same and don't put a lot of pressure on the knee. So you don't want to really uh, weigh in on, on the lower back. You just want to stabilize it. But this is very light pressure. Remember that. Otherwise it will be painful and feel oppressive. Leaning back. Move knee up a little bit. Very light pressure with the knee. Move it down a little bit. Now this stretch will also affect the quadriceps muscles. So if someone is very tight here, they will really feel it in there. So you should always start out with working on the muscles and then follow it up with stretching techniques. That's the right way of doing that. So you should never start out with the stretching right away. So now you have a couple of techniques. Of course, there are dozens or maybe hundreds of techniques to work on the back in Thai massage, but now you have one for the upper back and one for the lower back. Greetings from Thailand. Now you have seen a couple of Thai massage back techniques. 
If you are interested in becoming a true back therapy expert, check out Thai Healing Massage Academy's Thai Back Massage course. This is a very detailed and professional home study course with 11 hours of the best and most in-depth Thai back massage video training. Just click on the screen or on the link below the video for all the details.